Hi YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how I do water changes. I'm fish keeping out for a few years and I went through, I served my time lugging buckets around and I came up on my own little way to, to make life a little bit easier. Just before I do, I'll show you a quick look at my discus. They're all freaked out of course. But uh, water's actually going back in right now, but I'll explain my setup. So what I have is I have the JBL water changer. Which I have connected out here to my sink in the utility room. And I use this to take water out of the tank only. Because I don't like pumping straight tap water from the tank, even though you can. I just find it's a bit of a nuisance trying to get the temperature right. And I just don't think it's the water is quite as good, so I don't bother doing it. So you can see I've disconnected. After taking out the water, I disconnected from the nozzle, and then I connected it to here where I store water. I usually leave it in here for about a day. I put wood in it with an air stone and a heater, and then I connect it onto the actual water changer tubing, and then just plug it in, and it fills back up. These are my breeders. They're hiding now because I've turned on the light out here, so they don't like the light out here. But I just find this makes water changing so much easier. So I don't have to. Move all them buckets around. It used to take hours to do a big water change anyway. Whereas now, in 30 minutes, it can be done. Like why this is refilling, or even when it's taken out the water, I could be wiping the glass. I can be doing anything. So it's great to get all your water changing done in 30 minutes, and be able to do bigger water changes, and therefore happier, healthy fish. Hope this helps. You're more welcome to rob my idea because I find it really, really useful. I know some people are happy enough to pump it straight from their taps into the water. Maybe if their tap water is pretty okay, you could, but I just prefer not to. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.